Okay, so there is a way actually to use Snapchat filters. I mean, these filters are pretty, pretty fire in your YouTube videos and your streaming videos. I'll show you exactly how I did it. Follow along. Here we go. Okay, so first thing we do is get our phone on the computer. So I've been using Air Receiver for Windows. And if you put an Air Receiver Windows into Google, you get a link uh, on the Microsoft Store. You can download it. So go ahead and download it. Costs a couple bucks. Um, but then again, you don't need to use this program. You can use another program that also mirrors your phone onto your Windows computer, okay? But I'm going to use Air, Air Receiver. All right, next step, open up your Air Receiver or your mirroring software. Next, go to your iPhone, bring down the drawer, and select screen mirroring, and then select your device um, that is screen mirroring on your computer. I've named my Air Receiver actually Office Computer, so I select that and then it's mirroring, okay? And then the next thing you wanna do with your phone is open up Snapchat. Boom, opened up Snapchat, and here, you know, Snapchat's doing its magic already. And yeah, I mean, they do have that desktop uh, app, but uh, the filters are not the same as on the mobile device. Pretty cool, whoa, whoa, these Snap filters are super crazy. <laughs> okay. So um, let's try this filter on for size. Um, okay, so the next step, how do we get off of the screen mirror and into our OBS um, or other, other streaming software? I'm using OBS, so I'll, I'll show that right now. Next thing you'll want to do is in your sources, select plus and select window capture. And then you'll wanna select the air receiver application, okay? So select that thing, click okay. Okay, so then you'll want to right click it and then we'll go to transform and we'll select edit transform and then playing with these numbers here, uh, the crop right, left, top, bottom, um, just snip out the area just so your uh, face is visible without the um, icons and stuff around it. So we'll go uh, something like 80, 80 pixels on the right. Let's go with like 200 at the top. 200 at the bottom, we need more, 350, a little more, 450, okay. Okay, there we go. So, I mean, depends on what you're doing. You could basically leave it the way it is and maybe put like a, a nice border around, um, uh, around this. And Bob's your uncle, right? You can... Um, you can do that. Now you can go the next step um, and you can remove the background. Now I have an NVIDIA graphics card and NVIDIA has uh, a, a tool called NVIDIA Broadcast. Let me just throw that on screen. NVIDIA Broadcast um, is a piece of software um, that is uh, for uh, people with uh, NVIDIA cards, 3000 series uh, and higher supporting RTX. Um, and that's what I use to remove the background. And there is actually an OBS plugin. So you can use NVIDIA Broadcast standalone and then feed the NVIDIA Broadcast camera into OBS uh, where it applies the background removal filter. I'll quickly show you. So if you load this tool, you select camera and then, you know, as part of the effects, you select background removal. And then in uh, OBS Studio software, you select this NVIDIA Broadcast as your camera source. So the sleeker way to do this without using the NVIDIA Broadcast app is to go to the uh, NVIDIA Broadcast Download Center and you can um, download a plugin for OBS which uh, actually it uses less resources and you can apply the filter to many different things and not just an input camera so it makes your OBS usage uh, a lot more flexible. So basically you go to the NVIDIA Broadcast Download Center um, and then you go to the video effects um, section and then, you know, depending if you have a 2000 series, 3000 series or a 4000 series video card, you can go ahead and uh, download that filter. Okay, and then once you download it and install it. Okay, so now that we have our NVIDIA filters loaded, I basically just hit right click on this. I go to filters and I add the effect NVIDIA background removal. Boom. Boom, and there it is. And then you'll see how it removed the background. And now I can place this anywhere on my stream. You know, I can 
change my I can change my uh, thing on the Snapchat app here on my phone and uh, we're flying we're cooking one more thing um, if you don't have an Nvidia card uh, you can still use the other built-in uh, features in OBS to remove the background for example if you have a green screen um, you can put that green screen behind you or even generate one from within the Snapchat app and then back in OBS you can right click and then go um, filters I'm gonna remove this one the Nvidia one but there's other uh, uh, filters uh, such as um, the chroma key right you can select that one now I don't have a green screen behind me um, but you can still I'm gonna do something here so I'm gonna select the color pick screen color that one so I'm gonna pick the one that's behind me on my wall hit OK and then the similarity let's adjust that a bit so it's kinda you know if you have a green screen and load it up there and you can actually uh, do a DC you can actually get away with it and, and do a decent job you don't need the uh, Nvidia stuff so here how's that looking not too good right uh, but you get the idea um, so but basically yeah the snapchat uh, filters are integrated subscribe to the channel for more uh, tips with uh, AI and technology and whatever else yeah, th these are these are definitely wild okay have a good one ciao